the murder of, uh, of Joe Micheletzi at 23 years old uh, is an extraordinary tragedy, not only for this university's community, um, but also for us as a state and for me as a father. Um, I have a son who is in college right now getting ready to graduate in just a few weeks. Um, it is one of the most optimistic times of life when you're in a university setting, you're learning every day, you're experiencing growing up with your peers, and especially for someone like Joe who was a member of a fraternity, also learning what it's like to grow up with people that come from all different kinds of backgrounds and experiences, but come here unified by one goal, which is to, to learn, to improve their lives, and to grow up. We never ever think that the conclusion of this experience will be anything other than a cap and gown, and a diploma, and a job, and a career. Uh, for someone coming from Freehold, New Jersey, where the dad is working two jobs to help to afford to send him here, for him to have to deal with, and that's family to have to deal with it, not just the Micheletsi family, but also the family of NJIT is an awfully, awfully difficult thing. And so I just want to extend on behalf of the people of the state and on behalf of me and Mary Pat, our condolences to both those families, Joe's nuclear family and Joe's university family. Um, both of them, I suspect, were precious to him. And uh, for those young men and women here who call themselves Joe's friends, um, the only way to in my mind, show tribute to him and to his life is for you to do those things that he and his family wish he could be doing today. Finish your degree, develop your relationships, and move forward um, in a way that contributes to our society and to your own individual families in a much broader way. And so uh, condolences are not enough. I'm the father of four. There could never be enough condolences that could be given to a mother or a father who lose their child. It's the most unnatural thing that can happen to anyone in the normal arc of life. We expect our children to be there for us when we die, not the other way around. And so for those of you who know this family personally, I'd urge you not, it's always an awkward thing, but don't stay away, move forward, embrace them. And as parents, let them know how much you feel their pain, it will help. I guarantee it'll help.